today's video we're going into Animali Coffee which is on Jalan Dano Tamblingan in Sunur and we're going to have a bite to eat and also in this video we'll be dropping into over the moon and testing out their coffee and watch out for one of our subscribers that we bumped into after our coffee So now we've come to a place in Jalan Dunu Tamblingen called Anomaly. What's it called? <laughs> well, Anomaly. according to a uh, waiter friend, it's Anomaly. Anomaly. I Coffee. would have always thought it was Anomaly. Anyway, we're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a bit of Anomaly. It is Anomaly, I think. It's anyway. an Anomaly. Ice coffees in takeaway containers. Strange. And also, no service. Coffee's nice, but it's in a cardboard cup. Like I would have thought it would be in a proper glass. But anyway, it tastes beautiful. Uh, we've ordered some food. We'll see what that's like. Um, but you know. Go up, order, pay for yourself. It's not that much service. So hopefully this lunch tastes alright. This is the Animali beef burger. It's a beef burger with wedges and tom sauce. And that took 23 minutes from point of order to delivery. Apparently Mark went up there to ask how long lunch was because as you can see she has nothing. zippity doo -da, once again. And the burger was sitting on the counter. The burger itself is quite cold to touch but the chips are hot. Um, so obviously they retain their heat a little bit more than burgers. There's a trivial fact for you. And as usual I've got nothing. And as you can see, there is nobody in here. No one in here that's actually ordered anything other than us. 31 minutes after order. Mm, feel, I think it was longer. No, I timed it. Still not looking happy there. Four chicken wings nearly 40 minutes we apparently to... honey and lemon dressing on them or something so hopefully they're nice and worth the wait and they did have to find the chicken yeah! we're off to over the moon over the moon cafe have a cappuccino we're going to try a coffee at Over the Moon. We are at Over the Moon. And this is Over the Moon Coffee Shop, Restaurant and Bar. We are in the outside here. With mural out the back. Tile and wooden flooring, decking. Plenty of tables out here. And inside is air conditioned. And there's a number of people that you might call digital nomads on their computers, laptops, going about their business. 
busy little bar making coffees more than mixing cocktails at this point. The fan would be good if it was on. Coffee has arrived. The flat white and the cappuccino with the lovely decoration. Service was a little bit slow, but let's have a taste. Different flavour, I'll give it that much. It is a different flavour. Um, to what we've had at other places so they all do seem to vary their, their roasting techniques and brews um, but it's still okay it's still got a strongish flavor how about yours Mark? I haven't tried it yet I'm just trying to see they had a blurb about their coffee and it's they're supporting locals, they're introducing a new set of coffee blend produced by Arka, a social entrepreneur from Ulian, a tiny village in the hills of Kintamani. Oh, way up That's in the why hills. it tastes different. Having been raised in the middle of his father's coffee plantation, this Balinese young man dedicated the rest of his life to the development of this venture. Arka has taken the journey one step ahead. Not only does he employ women from his village, he also educates his neighbours to produce better tasting coffee. He unites and grows his fellow farmers as one community. Arka himself customised our blend, offering strong and distinct characters. We'd love to hear what you think of the taste. Well, I'm about to tell you what I think of the taste. Let me see. Yeah, it does taste different, but it's very, very nice. Strong, very flavoursome. I like it. Thank you, Arka. Over the Moon Coffee Shop. They have their own icy poles with the most amazing flavours. Blueberry thyme. My assistant will just flick the pages. Cashew caramel, that sounds good. Look at them, they're amazing. Chocolate fudge cashew. Oh, 40,000. Coconut pandan mango. Matcha toasted sesame. Goodness me, I've never seen anything like it. Passion fruit mango rosemary. Rosemary? Yeah, rosemary. Peanut butter chocolate, that would be yum. And lucky last, strawberry lemonade that the kids would probably That's what love. I would choose. Derek, Derek and the kids would love that one. This is the over the moon menu. And we're not actually eating here right now, but the menu looks fantastic. Waffles, uh, big breakfast, that looks amazing. Beautiful sourdough thousand. bread. 89,000. Smoothie bowls from 69,000. Then we go into bagels, croissants, yogurts, eggs, Benedict. Eggs, Benny. Yum. How much are they? Eggs, Benny are uh, from 68.99 to 85 Yum. with crispy bacon. Ooh. Might come back here for breakfast Light one day. Dinner, lunch, and bites. Yeah. Twice cooked crispy baby potatoes, 39,000 K. Salad, western, and pasta. Signature rice bowl. Mm, that looks nice. Meat, meaty baby pork ribs. Mm. Pastries and desserts. Soup. Asian food, it's got quite pastries a big, and desserts. Quite a big menu. Cake at 55, carrot cake 45. And we've just had breakfast, so we don't actually Drinks. want to eat right now. 
smoothies, milkshakes, iced coffees, coffee all rains, the coffees, lattes, everything you could possibly and want, and juices, cocktails. If you're here of an evening, and they happy, have happy hour happy starts hour. at four o'clock. 55k per drink. Five dollars fifty per cocktail, not bad. More cocktails. Buy two, get an extra glass and free. Bintang is 35k, so that's my indication of pricing. It's not bad. The end. Pretty good menu. 